purpose of a series that I'll be doing for the Skincare Bible. Um, the Skincare Bible, Dermatologist Tips on Skincare, is a book that I authored <clears> that's been published both in hard copy, available in bookstores, um, I don't buy in Singapore as well as via our eShop, drtwlderma.com, um, and also via an ebook version on Barnes & Noble, Apple Books, as well as Scribd. So in this first video, I just want to share a little bit about the skin as a physical barrier. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have spoken about the skin barrier uh, being a concept that is very important in the use of moisturizers and I'm sure you've heard terms like uh, ceramide, hyaluronic acid, uh, glycerol, as well as natural moisturizing factors being um, thrown around in um, our dermatology or beauty jargon. So what do all these things mean? Now first of all, uh, I want to communicate to you the most important principles that one should understand about the skin barrier. First of all, the skin is a physical barrier that prevents foreign bodies from entering our body system. Now, the important function of skin also is that it helps the body maintain a state of homeostasis. So what exactly is homeostasis? Homeostasis is a state of physiological balance. Now, our skin primarily prevents transepidermal water loss to the environment, which means that we are not excessively dehydrated and hence our body can keep a certain temperature and our organs are able to function in a certain environment. Now, what constitutes the skin barrier? The topmost layer of the skin is a layer known as the stratum corneum joined together by cells known as corneocytes. The best description of the skin barrier is really the uh, brick and mortar model that uh, you may have heard me speak about and I talk about extensively in the first chapter of my book. And um, essentially, the skin stratum corneum um, is uh, a series of bricks which are joined together by cement. And in this case, cement is a molecule known as ceramide. It's a fatty lipid uh, that's produced by your body. Now, it that itself is also genetically determined because certain people have higher amounts of uh, ceramide production and better quality of ceramide production, whereas those with um, a history of atopic eczema, atopic dermatitis, they tend to produce um, a type of ceramide that is deficient and uh, can give rise to issues with the skin barrier and um, in uh, preventing transepidermal water loss. So these individuals, they often develop uh, atopic dermatitis are more prone to eczema or sensitive skin. What else is important in our understanding of skin barrier? So the term hyaluronic acid is, uh, acid is actually, um, so the term hyaluronic acid is actually a colloquial term for a molecule, sodium hyaluronate. So itself is a molecule that is found in the second layer of our skin, the dermis, um, as well as in the stratum corneum, which Leslie will talk uh, about. Uh, essentially, it not just functions as a moisture molecule, but it also helps with cellular signaling and it ensures that the skin barrier functions properly. Um, apart from that, there are um, a series of water-soluble molecules known as natural moisturizing factors. These, together with um, active ingredients such as glycerol, okay, both of which are incorporated in the mineral booster, um, they help to restore the stratum corneum balance. And of course, um, the main ingredient you should be looking out for in a moisturizer would be ceramide. So just bear in mind that there are many different brands out there which uh, talk about ceramide, okay? But the, the truth is, if your ceramide is in the form of a serum, it would very likely be in a low concentration and in a form that is uh, not the most comprehensive for your skin. So in the terms of the best moisturizer, I would say always look for a cream. So a cream versus a lotion versus a serum. So serums, they are all easily absorbed primarily because um, it contains very little um, active ingredients other than just the um, 
phyto uh, the antioxidant itself typically a phytoantioxidant, um, but then the uh, emollient factors they tend to be much stronger uh, in high concentration in cream formulas. Your skin basically needs a mix of these molecules as well as emollients, uh, especially for dry skin, to um, be fully moisturized. The multi serum from Dr. T. Dr. Dermaceuticals contains two sources of, of ceramides. So typically, we obtain ceramides from uh, an animal, the, the cow or synthetic sources, um, that's bovine ceramide. Um, the source of ceramide that we uh, use in the T. Dr. Dermaceuticals multi serum is actually from plant seed oils. So these, this is a category we term phytoceramides and um, they actually work in a very similar fashion by mimicking the natural fatty lipid content of your skin's natural ceramic content to repair the skin barrier. Phytoceramides and um, they actually work in a very similar fashion by mimicking the natural fatty lipid content of your skin's natural ceramic content to repair the skin barrier. So I hope this serves as a good crash course uh, for all of you skincare uh, junkies to understand a little bit more about um, what sort of moisturizer, uh, what type of active ingredients to look out for. Let me know in your comments if you have any questions. And that's it. Cookie soul, cookie soul.